Okay, this is Shell Mound Trail near uh, Cedar Key. And last time I was here, the deer flies were so bad I couldn't get down the trail. And this time they're not out, so it's just the mosquitoes. Okay, starting out on the trail. There's some cedar trees. Of course, Cedar Key is famous for that. The big cedar trees. Yeah, I bet that's where our shell mound is, where all the big trees are back And the trail starts uh, gently sloping up, which is actually part of the shell mound. This is a really a huge shell mound, and you can't really get the perspective or size of it. Just have to take the trail and go around it. But we're on it right now, even though this... Uh, sloping path you wouldn't think it but of course that's what all the shell is the aboriginal remains oh here's a big portion of the shells here earboats in the distance wow there's some big shells there of course now you can see the big bluffs Shell makes, ooh, I see a kunti plant up there. That's great. To the left of this oak tree. And here's some yopon holly. You see the red berries, they're usually uh, turn red in the fall. Nice big leaves. So that's pretty cool seeing the uh, kunti and the yopon holly. Different uh, famous plants in the uh, Native American culture. And we'll hike up the little shell incline here. And air boat in the background. Of course our kunti plant there. And on their side there's some yopon holly. But that's really special seeing that on a Native American mound. This is a special place. And there's some more kunti. I think it might have been planted deliberately by the... the Nature Preserve and under this uh, really nice big cedar tree. We'll rest stop looking over the estuaries of the Gulf. More cedar trees and there's an interpretive uh, panel. It says that the shell mound rises 28 feet above sea level and it's nearly 6,000 years old so this is a very old mound uh, constructed over from about 2,500 2, BC to AD 100. So it was an old mound and it was occupied for quite a while. And there's more Kunti plant down there, it grows in abundance. But anyway, that's a short trail. The shell mound is worth the detour if you're visiting Cedar Key.